Welcome. In this video, we will examine SAP Logistics Business Network, Global Track and Trace Option. The solution is used to capture, process and store tracking information about business processes. We will look at GTT through an example of sales order fulfillment with delivery and shipment tracking. Let's begin by looking at the benefits provided by GTT. It allows business users to get real-time transparency of business processes. They can query any tracked process and display its retrieved data from end to end. GTT provides rule-based triggering when certain predefined conditions occur, such as delay or damage to goods. The rules can also trigger follow-up activities such as sending emails to users or updating back-end systems. Let's cover some of the basics first. SAP Logistics Business Network, or LBN, is SAP's new collaborative cloud network that enables businesses to collaborate more easily than before. It is a cloud service solution based on the SAP Business Technology Platform. SAP Logistics Business Network, Global Track and Trace option is one of several available options. GTT can be considered the cloud-based successor of SAP Event Management. The Global Track and Trace option tracks typical ERP processes. It includes some pre-configured scenarios based on ERP deliveries and ERP shipments. The solution provides apps for business users that allow them to display milestones with plan and actual date slash times, display details of processes, report planned and unplanned events, visualize related locations on a geographical map. Whereas LBN Global Track and Trace tracks ERP processes such as sales order fulfillment, LBN Global Freight Order Collaboration tracks and handle the process related to the Transportation Management Freight Order object. We will now look at an example where we can see how the internal progress of a typical ERP sales process is reflected in Global Track and Trace. First, we create three sales orders. Then we continue by creating the three subsequent outbound deliveries. Before we turn to Global Track and Trace, we will create one collective shipment document containing the three deliveries. We create the three orders for customers in the Bay Area, California, as fast as possible. With the Create Outbound Deliveries app, we create the three subsequent delivery documents. Since transportation management is not in use, we create one collective shipment document manually. We add our three outbound deliveries to it and add the stages, one by one. With the formalities done, it is time to have a look at global track and trace. When opening the GTT sales order fulfillment app, we can spot the three newly created sales orders. We pick one of the three orders. An overview page opens. We can see the main process steps, one sales order, one sales order item, one delivery item and one delivery. Everything connected. By drilling down on the sales order item, we can see that the sales order has been created, the item has been confirmed, and delivery has been created. Goods issue and delivery completed are yet to take place. We go one step back to the sales order and drill down this time on the delivery item. We can see that picking and goods issue are among the future planned activities. They both have a deadline attached to them, together with the subsequent shipment-related activities. The shipment activities are also viewable on the map, a great example of how the solution can use the geolocation information for even better visualization. To progress, we use the Change Outbound Delivery app to record the picking of the delivery items. This could preferably have happened using for instance, extended warehouse management. Back in the GTT app, we can refresh the screen and see that picking is now confirmed. Earlier than planned. Goods issue is the next planned activity. We use the change outbound delivery app once more and perform the goods issue. In a separate pop-up window, we get a glimpse of the delivery note. Back in the GTT app, we can again refresh the screen and see that the goods issue is complete, ahead of the defined deadline. Moving back to the sales order level, we drill down again on the sales order item tab. We can easily see that 4 out of 5 milestones are completed. Only the actual delivery to the customer remains. Clicking on the delivery item tab brings up the delivery item view. Also, here, 
it is clear that the shipment parts remain to be executed. If we click on the shipment document reference, we get an overview of all shipment relevant milestones. With the help of the Change Shipment app, we quickly record the departure from our DC and arrival at the first customer location. We refresh the screen in the GTT Sales Order Fulfillment app and can see that departure of the three delivery line items has been reported. We do the same refresh on the delivery item level and can see that departure and arrival at the first customer are reported in time. For now, we can say, mission accomplished. The functionality shown in this video is available in SAP Logistics Business Network, Global Track and Trace option. It is a cloud service solution based on the SAP Business Technology Platform. Let's recap the benefits provided by GTT. It allows business users to get real-time transparency of business processes. They can query any tracked process and display its retrieved data from end to end. GTT provides rule-based triggering when certain predefined conditions occur, such as delay or damage to goods. The rules can also trigger follow-up activities such as sending emails to users or updating back-end systems. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.